and welcome back math party people Anderson here your math coach let's go ahead and take a look now the next part of the series for law of exponents we're doing negative exponents now so up to this point here what you should have noticed and have done is the product law of exponents the quotient law of exponents power to a power those are the previous videos and remember I need you to make sure you do those worksheets and those speed drills if you're in our course or program so make sure you get in there because again confidence is key here because after you learn this negative exponents after what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a bunch of new types of problems where we mix the ideas together we're gonna to mix product and quotient mix power and product power and quotient mix all three mix the negatives in there it's all gonna happen so let's make sure that we know how to handle this like we know we can and then from there practice with those worksheets basically establish that mastery and confidence with those speed drills and then move forward from there so let's learn negative exponents this is going to be a short video because this is actually very 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 straightforward so here we go so the thing is again when it comes to the proper way to write um, any algebraic expressions we don't want to see negative exponents um, so we're gonna to have to go ahead and learn how to handle those pieces of information so first of all here's how it works long story short long story short here's the easiest way I can explain it remember this my party people when you have something like let's say x to the power of 3 remember that that means x multiplied by itself three times now let me show you what its opposite is the opposite would be something like this x to the power of negative 3 so here's the thing my party people a positive exponent means that you are multiplying that base that many times so here x to the power of 3 means you're multiplying x by itself three times a negative exponent means you are dividing that base that many times so you're dividing by x three times and so what that looks like everybody is this 1 over x times x times x which would end up becoming 1 over x cubed and really quick before we continue my math party people I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program in our program you have four main things to help you succeed and more but mainly in our course you're gonna get access to recorded lessons you're gonna get access to guided practice just like this worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online and lastly speed drills to raise your confidence that way when you take the test there's no test anxiety there's no pressure because you've been timed before you know what to do and that's the feeling that we want and all of that's included in our program and more so take a brief moment click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions sign up now let's get going and let's get back to the problem and so here's the beginning part of the rule and I'm gonna give you a shortcut as well long story short my part of people when you have a negative exponent if you want to make a positive which you should always be aiming to do all you have to do is switch it between the numerator and denominator so if I have x to the power of negative 3 like I do up here we have again 1 over x to the power of 3 as the equivalent but if you have set let's say something like 1 over let's say x to the power of negative 2 where you have an exponent that's negative well guess what to make it a positive you would just write it as x squared you can say x squared over 1 which is the same thing as saying just x squared but long story short the rule for handling negative exponents everybody is this wherever that specific piece is that's a negative exponent switch it between the numerator and denominator to make it positive that's the shortcut and the way that it works is because a negative exponent means that you are dividing that base that many times and so if it's up top of the negative divide it if it's on bottom well guess what if you're doing a fraction dividing by a fraction keep change flip you flip it so again it should make sense in terms of why this works but now let's go ahead and put this into practice with number one we have 3y to the power of negative 9 so here's my also my one last rule here make sure that you're only handling the piece that has a negative exponent only handle the piece that has a negative exponent so for example this 3 right here does not have a negative exponent that's not a negative 9 no remember when you don't see an exponent that's just one that is just one so what this really becomes is the 3 stays where it is 
but the y to the power of negative 9, that's what changes to y to the power of positive 9. I do want to make that very clear. It is only the piece that's negative that gets moved. And so boom, that's going to be C here. So watch as we go through these different examples here. It's not going to matter. It's really just focusing on the correct piece. Because if you take a look here, 7x to the power of negative 8, y to the power of 10, it is only the x to the power of negative 8 that has a negative exponent. So with that said, you'll have yourself 7 over, excuse me, 7y to the 10th over x to the power of 8. It's only the negative piece that gets moved if you want to turn it positive. That is it. So let's take a look at a couple more examples here. And let's just, again, you know, really take things nice and easy. So here's one where they might try to trick you a little bit, and that's okay. Because first and foremost, take a look at the power of zero right here. X to the power of zero, anything to the power of zero. What is that again? We've talked about this. It's going to be one. So we can actually rewrite this as 10 Y to the power of 10 Z to the power of negative seven, because X to the power of zero is just going to be one. So it's gone. One times 10 is just going to be 10. It's gone. So with that, now we can focus on that negative exponent right there, which makes our answer here 10 Y to the power of 10 all over Z to the power of positive seven. And so that's answer choice C and we're good to move on. So I'm going to take us through a few more examples here, my party. We want to take us through plenty more examples. So let's go ahead and take a look at number nine here. P to the power of negative three, Q squared, R to the power of five. We only have to worry about that P to the power of negative three. So we have Q squared, R to the power of five, all over P cubed. Nice and easy right there. Now, number 10, again, all we focus on is the negative piece. That's really it. So if we have x to the power of negative four there, that's gonna become eight z to the power of six because all of those pieces have positive exponents and the x to the power of negative four gets placed in the denominator as a positive four right there. Again, my math part of people, it's really all about taking it one step at a time, understanding what's going on. So over here, if we wanna take a look at another one here, let's say we're taking a look at, let's say 17. Again, we have 4x to the negative 9, y to the 4th, z squared. And just like you're watching this video for free here on YouTube, I got more free materials for you, my ass bad party people. We've got a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake and identify those topics that you need to crush and work on. And on top of that, you can get a free class with me on Zoom once a week. And so that's all included in my free practice test with my free class included. Click that link in this video or in the description, sign up, keep learning for free and keep raising your score. I'm proud of you. Let's keep working hard and let's get back to the problem. So what'll happen here is the four, the y to the fourth and the z squared stay exactly where they are, but that x to the power of negative nine becomes x to the power of positive nine, just like that. And so we will have ourselves the final answer of C. Now let me show you another example here that's not shown in this worksheet. Let's go ahead and pretend that we have, let's say, let's say 4x to the power of negative 3 times y squared over z to the power of negative 7. Let's take a look at this one final example before we move on. Notice how we have two pieces that are negative. So this x to the power of negative 3, that's going to have to shift down. That's going to come down. Okay, that's going to come down. Let's see if this arrow ends up working perfectly fine, which it probably won't because you know how technology is. Okay, so that x to the power of negative 3 is going to come down. And that z to the power of negative 7, that's going to come up. That's going to come up. And so there we go. That's really it. Wherever that negative exponent piece is, move it to where it's not, and you can make it positive. That's straightforward. So a question like this, the final answer would end up becoming 4y squared z to the power of positive 7 over x to the power of positive 3. And there it is, my math party people. This one's a short one. I know it is. But that's because this idea is very straightforward. If you have a negative exponent, you can make it positive 
by simply going ahead and swapping it between the numerator and denominator. So again, my name is Coach Anderson. Happy to have you here, my math party people. So if you're in the course of the program, move up next, try those worksheets out, practice, 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 practice. And then from there, we'll keep partying like we know we do. So let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Let's get to work and reach out to me if you have any questions. I'll see you soon. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.